Welcome to this podcast by the Central Bank of Kuwait, where we explore economic views and enhance awareness of key economic concepts and developments that affect both individuals and society. I am Sarah Al Uthman, your host for this podcast. With the rapid pace of digital transformation in the banking and the financial sector, especially after the COVID pandemic, an increasing number of banks and banking customers are turning to financial technologies for their financial transactions whether through electronic payment gateways or bank applications however along with the benefits modern technology has also brought risks such as financial fraud attempts which take various forms to target those who use financial technologies to combat financial fraud the central bank of kuwait has implemented preventive measures and procedures to protect bank customers from these illegal operations Joining us today to discuss the most prominent measures is Fatma Al Gharib, CBK Senior E-Payment Supervisor. We've all noticed different types of fraud, such as phone calls from individuals impersonating bank employees requesting personal information or the sending of malicious links to hack customers' phone or devices. How does the Central Bank of Kuwait address these attempts? First of all, thank you Sara for having me and hello to our listeners. As you mentioned, financial fraud can take various forms. However, it is important to emphasize that the most crucial factor in protecting against fraud are the customers themselves, meaning customers being aware of the different types of fraud. Most fraud attempts try to convince customers to share their confidential information. Therefore, the Central Bank of Kuwait has implemented systems, measures, and procedures to prevent such attempts. Regarding the Central Bank of Kuwait's preventative measures, we can categorize them into three main areas. First, the Central Bank of Kuwait has taken steps to enhance the security of bank cards, both debit and credit cards, by strengthening cybersecurity and information security. Second, the Central Bank of Kuwait has facilitated the process of reporting incidents of fraud among the concerned entities. And third, the Central Bank of Kuwait has been working to raise awareness about financial fraud and ways to avoid being a victim of financial fraud. Thank you Fatma for the quick summary of the Central Bank of Kuwait's three main efforts. Let's talk about the first effort you mentioned. How did the Central Bank of Kuwait improve the security of bank cards and enhance cybersecurity and the security of information? Sure. The Central Bank of Kuwait has made it mandatory for local banks to issue inactive new or renewed credit or debit bank cards to the customers. It is the customer's responsibility to activate these cards through secure channels like the call center or ATM. The Central Bank of Kuwait has also set a limit on the number of incorrect attempts allowed to enter the PIN code of debit cards on all channels. For example, you only have a maximum of 3 incorrect attempts when using call centers or ATMs. After 3 attempts, the card will be automatically blocked, but you can reactivate it by contacting your bank's call center. The same applies to the number of incorrect attempts to enter the card's expiration date on the shared electronic banking services company also referred to as Knet payment gateways to further protect bank cards several other measures are in place one measure is to require additional data such as the residential address or pin code to verify credit card transactions instead of solely relying on the data on the card stores are also prohibited from double swiping customer bank cards on point of sale devices Additionally, customers receive a text message to the mobile number registered with the bank for each transaction made on their card, whether it is accepted or rejected, to alert the customer of all activity, including potentially fraudulent activity. If a fraud occurs, it's important for the customers to inform their bank immediately. These measures are very protective. And what about the improvement of cybersecurity and information security? The Central Bank of Kuwait was quick to recognize the risks of financial fraud using new technology. It has taken the lead in this area through supervisory instructions and initiatives to enhance cybersecurity. This includes developing capabilities and competencies through the banking sector and also internally at Central Bank of Kuwait. For example, in February 2020, the Central Bank of Kuwait established a cybersecurity strategic framework for the banking sector in Kuwait. It's a comprehensive framework that addresses cybersecurity risks. This framework was developed through collaboration with Kuwaiti banks and led by the Central Bank of Kuwait. 
It strengthens the banking sector's ability to tackle cybersecurity risks and coordinates efforts to address these risks. Additionally, as part of Kafa'a's initiative, the Central Bank of Kuwait, in partnership with Kuwaiti banks and the Kuwait Institute of Banking Studies, launched the Cybersecurity Leaders Program to develop national expertise in this field. Furthermore, in 2023, the Central Bank of Kuwait issued a circular to all local banks regarding payment links for individual customers. The circular mandated that customer bank statements include details about the person who created the payment link, such as their full name and the purpose of the payment. The circular also sets a 24-hour validity for payment links and requires banks to establish thresholds for daily and monthly transaction values using payment links. The circular also included additional controls and follow-up procedures to protect customers from financial fraud. Also, in 2023, another circular was issued to local banks requiring them to block the use of bank application on the customer's smartphones if a remote access app like AnyDesk was downloaded on the customer phone as scammers use these types of applications to access devices and steal data and information. To protect banks' websites and applications, the Central Bank of Kuwait mandated the use of multi-factor authentication, meaning customers must enter their debit card number, PIN code, and their unique answers to security questions. Banks are not allowed to change customers' phone numbers or emails except through the bank's branches or call center. Customers should not store login data on devices used for logging in and the automatic logout should occur after five minutes of inactivity to protect customer data. As part of these protection measures, customers can block their bank cards through the bank's website or application. Additionally, the 3D Secure system is implemented for online payment approval on e-commerce websites. Thank you for the explanation, Fatma. Now let's move on to the other two categories or areas you mentioned earlier regarding reporting fraud and raising awareness about financial fraud. Of course, Sarah. So as you mentioned, the other two parts to CBK's preventative measures are facilitating the reporting of fraud incidents, including coordinating efforts among relevant entities, as well as raising public awareness about ways to avoid financial fraud. Fatma, would you please explain the measures related to facilitating reporting of fraud and coordination of efforts among the concerned entities? Absolutely. In January 2011, the Central Bank of Kuwait instructed all banks, investment and finance companies to establish units for handling and addressing customer complaints. If the bank's procedures for dealing with the customer's complaint were not correct or unconvincing to the customer, would the matter end like this? Of course not. Because in 2013, the Central Bank of Kuwait established the Customer Protection Unit to receive customer complaints and appeals. They have also defined a clear mechanism for submitting such complaints and appeals which are published on various channels such as CBK's website and other social media platforms. Furthermore, in July 2015, Central Bank of Kuwait issued a comprehensive guide to protect customer rights. This guide includes a set of principles and instructions for the banking sector and individuals to provide the highest level of transparency and protection to customers. Then, in December 2022, Central Bank of Kuwait launched an electronic system for the Customer Protection Unit to facilitate the receipt of complaints and appeals against local banks. This meant that customers no longer needed to visit the Central Bank of Kuwait in person. Lastly, in September 2023, the Central Bank of Kuwait issued instructions to the Kuwait Banking Association to establish a round-the-clock command center to deal with the financial fraud and reports from customers. Would you provide more details about the nature of the center and its members? Gladly. This center is a virtual center managed by the Kuwait Banking Association. It includes representatives from all local banks, KNET, the Ministry of Interior Affairs, the Public Prosecution, and the Communication and Information Technology Regulatory Authority. The goal of this center is to speed up the process of reporting fraud and taking legal measures to prevent fraud accordingly. The presence of the center shows the coordination between the Central Bank of Kuwait and the other entities involved in combating fraud. Would you give an example of this coordination? Of course, Sarah. One example of coordination between the Central Bank of Kuwait and the other entities is their collaboration with the Communication and Information Technology Regulatory Authority, CITRA. CITRA oversees all telecommunication companies. Hence, the Central Bank submitted a proposal to the management of CITRA and they are currently in the process of implementing it. The proposal requires financial entities under Central Bank of Kuwait supervision, such as banks, 
exchange companies, electric payment companies, and KNET to display the name of the party calling. This measure aims to prevent fraudsters from pretending to be employees of well-known entities and tricking customers into sharing banking or personal data or downloading malicious applications. That's a very beneficial collaboration. Fatma, at the beginning of the podcast, you stressed the importance of customer awareness in order to avoid falling victim to fraudulent attempts. How can customers obtain the required awareness? It's not possible to ask customers to be aware of fraud without providing them with the necessary information and educational materials. That's why the Central Bank of Kuwait, in collaboration with Kuwaiti banks, launched an ongoing banking awareness campaign called Let's Be Aware, known in Arabic as Diraya. This campaign aims to raise society's financial awareness by providing educational materials and recommendations on how to avoid falling victim to electronic fraud. These resources are available through social media platforms and other media channels. The Central Bank of Kuwait has also partnered with the government entities and institutions to enhance awareness. For example, they worked with the Ministry of Information to broadcast awareness clips on television and radio as well as conduct interviews with specialists in the field. Additionally, the Central Bank of Kuwait collaborates with Citra to spread awareness messages through telecommunication companies and with the Central Agency for Information Technology to publish awareness messages through Sahel application. The awareness materials published through Diraya campaign can be found on the campaign's website, www.dirayakw.com. This has been a very informative session. Thank you so much, Fatma, for joining us today. This brings us to the end of today's podcast. Thank you for listening.